Hello friends, this video on P block part 48 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's talk about the reaction with metals. Actually, these halides also react with metals to form MX. A good example is chlorine react with sodium plus to form NaCl. Or my Mg react with Br2 to form MgBr2. Okay. Now you let's see the ionic character or the non-ionic character. So we talked about the, the metal oxides. Everything will each of these halogen will form metal uh, metal uh, halide. For example, I have MF. Metal can be anything, a monovalent atom, for example, sodium. So NF, then MCl, then MBr, and then Mi. So this MF is more ionic, and Mi is more covalent. Why? Any guess? Again, because of electronegativity. Since the electronegativity difference is more between fluorine and M, it is more ionic. Since the ionic iodine itself, the electronegativity is less. We have just seen that, right? For iodine, the electronegativity is 2.66, and for fluorine, it was 4, fluorine, it was 3.16, bromine, it was 2.96. And let's suppose this, this electronegativity is X, we don't know, right? So, but if you talk about the X minus 4, this value is more because X will be something around 1 or 2. This value is more x minus 2.6. This value is less, right? That way, if you see the difference in electronegativity is more, that means more ionic character. The difference in electronegativity between m and i is less, that is more covalent character, right? This m can be or uh, any monovalent metal like sodium, okay, potassium, like that, okay. So the conclusion is when they react with metal, they form a metal halide, but they have ionic character, covalent character. With fluorine, they have more ionic character, the iodine has less ionic and more covalent character. Okay. Now let's see a scenario where I have, let's suppose, SNCl5, SNCl4, and SNCl3. In this case, oxidation state is plus 5, plus 4, and plus 3. I want to determine which one is more ionic or which one is more covalent. So the rule is that if a metal exhibits more than one oxidation state, then the halide in the higher oxidation state is more covalent. That is, this is more covalent because it is in the higher oxygen state. This is more ionic. Okay. So this is the difference. In one case is I have all the halides with metal, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. In this case, the one with fluorine is more ionic. The one with iodine is more covalent. But let's suppose we have same halide, chlorine, in this case, the same metal but different oxidation state. The one with the higher oxidation state is more covalent. The one with the lesser oxidation state is more ionic. Okay. The very common uh, explanation can explanation for this can be see, for example, in this case, SN can't give five electrons to chlorine. See, ionic is what? Ionic is actually transfer of electrons. Right, it is exactly transfer of electron, for example, NaCl, and it gives electron to Cl, you get ionic bond. Covalent is one. Covalent is sharing of electron. Okay, for example, CH4. In this case, four electrons are shared between carbon and hydrogen. So SN can't give five electrons. So some of them are shared here. So it is more covalent nature, but it can give three electrons. So it's more ionic. Okay. Another point for my covalent and ionic is the metals with low ionization energy 
they form ionic halide for example sodium has a very low ionization energy it is it can easily give electron to form na plus so sodium will typically form ionic bond metals with high ionization energy they will form thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again